welcome back to my channel, the Moon Biker Boy. Uh, here I am here with my colleague Mojesh. Uh, well, Mojesh, say hi to the crowd. Hi guys. Okay, uh, we, we have uh, the target for us was basically to get uh, the sum card for the interceptor fitted. Uh, and then somehow Mojesh tried and sourced out for me some contacts from Royal Enfield that he had and we got to know of this guy Rohit uh, from the Borega showroom. Uh, basically, I waited for three months to approximate for the sum card and ultimately we have gone ahead and put it installed on our bike. Now what we did is, we are going to show you this video, this video is basically for all the interceptor lovers. It's not a difficult task, it took how many minutes? 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Yes, it took 15 to 20 minutes for us to put the sum card in place. Uh, yes, there was a few, there was one LM key that was basically uh, a different uh, type which we are going to try, uh, which we going to try and source out the photo of that LM key that was needed basically. And it was a beautiful video, it was a beautiful setup, you know, where we they got it done and it was just before work, we could reach work, it was done. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, link and the numbers for this guy Rohit as well, that Mojas has given me. Um, and I'm going to show you the, basically how the Samgat was very easy fit. Do like, subscribe the channel and spread the good news. Thank you Mojas for getting me the contact and cheers, like the video. Okay, so this is the bike basically, uh, we had to wait, uh, I had gone to this, uh, the delivery uh, uh, warehouse for Royal Enfield Bandra where I had to wait for the bike to cool down, this was the box picked up from Rohit Royal Enfield Goringa showroom and it was a good wait, we had to wait for at least one hour, we, this is the unboxing for the box uh, for the Samga, that's the manual, uh, that's basically the instructions of how to install uh, the the sum guard but um, I'll let you know in the video you would see we have not followed any of these instructions I'll let you know why later on um, over here we have a few cardboard boxes not needed okay let's see what's here uh, let's see this side um, I see something over here okay so let's see what this is okay this is the basically I think yeah this is the clamp that holds the sum guard in the front just behind the tire a few nut bolts allen key bolts that are needed for yeah, installation of the sum card wow this is the holders okay that hold the sum card beneath the, the chassis and you have the aluminium plated uh, sum card over here it comes with a warranty rust free warranty from royal enfield as well so pretty much uh, good uh, i think it's a good quality as well and it serves the purpose so um, i think i'm in love with, with, with it so this is basically uh, we don't need to remove the silencers and stuff like others do uh, this is a different type of an elanki that has a small uh, head on top um, if i get a chance in my another video i will try and put it up you can see a little bit of it right now in this video as well uh, the unscrewed there's a small little uh, shaft or a small little uh place where they actually go ahead and put these clamps in you can see he's just gone ahead and removed those clamps this is basically clamps that are underneath the chassis to hold the sum guard uh from the front portion so over here you see him fitting the clamp into the same nuts over here that he just loosened oh the bike looks dirty from down oh god i should have clamped it but unfortunately i didn't realize until i see the video and we've already got the some guards installed you can see both of them trying to go ahead and put the same nuts and fix the if you look if you minutely pause the video and look at the guy on the left hand side there's a small head to the allen key that he is holding which is very rare to find uh, hence uh, they did not need to open the silencers and stuff they could directly do it from uh, the way it was uh, the bike was in the main stand and they directly went ahead and unscrew the first initial screws and then put up the, these clamps to the bike you can see him still uh, trying <laughs> it was difficult uh, but obvious um, to put these uh, clamps in place uh, yes a uh, note that the bike uh, was there with them for at least one hour so the bike cooled on hence the silence he can work uh, easily uh, against the silence as you can see we're almost done tightening the uh, brace over there one more one more thing a few more spins and it should be fine yeah, i think so that's it yes and there we are we are approximately uh, that's exactly the final fitting for it 
and we're going to go ahead and give it a little final touch of just tightening up again he's using the uh, special bolt over there to tighten the uh, screws to allen key bolts sorry and we're pretty much on both the sides uh, we've got them fitted and we now only need to have adjust the uh, sum card uh, and then put on the first bracket the front bracket that's just before the oil filter uh, casing and i'll also show you that exactly is what's coming up next and this is basically the holder that's in front of just below the oil filter to hold the uh, front end of the uh, this is a quick fix so we don't we did not need to uh, struggle much on this it was a quick fix uh, for both of them so that was basically i tried wiping the uh, uh, oil filter casing but forgot the you can see a little splash and splish splash on the chases as well almost trying and finish uh, putting up the just trying and seeing that it's tightened enough so it does not loosen making sure it's firm right there yes pretty much uh, the job took approximately 25 minutes to post uh, cooling of the bike to basically go ahead and uh, have this uh, mounted on the bike you will see they're giving a final touch uh, final tightening actually to the screws uh, and making sure the t-panner is in place with the uh, spanner as well and yes they have got it fixed tight enough enough we're trying to unscrew the front end uh, screw just making sure they fit in properly to before uh, we go ahead and screw the uh, sum guard on again they're trying to go ahead and see if all the screws are you know perfectly fit and here we go the sum card is on now just a few um, tightening of screws there are any allen keys actually allen key bolts that are needed and we should be pretty much uh, in a good frame to go ahead and uh, have a final product now as you can see it's a very good finish for the plate uh, it looks beautiful down i wish uh, the royal enfield banda showroom had this in stock initially my bike would have not got dirty from underneath but um, never too late i've got it now on my bike installed after two months and it looks pretty much uh, pretty much neat i think and uh, now my all uh, the filter oil filter casing will not get damaged i was only scared that it would get damaged due to small pebbles flying up in front but i think now it's perfectly going to be safe just giving it last tightening for all the allen keys and making sure it's in place and does not go ahead uh, and wobble or make some uh, last minute noises when riding as you guys know if it's left loose we would still be wondering where the noise is coming from and then uh, later we would realize that oh god uh, some card, uh, some guard allen keys were not no, bolts were not tight enough so they made sure basically it's all tight and i'm ready to ride even on a rough terrain uh, almost done i think uh, yes we are only a few more uh, <laughs> clock uh, wise uh, rotations to go ahead and then we should be done final uh, final tightening making sure everything is in place and perfectly fit and yes uh, the the uh, the one that was needed for the nuts below the silence i'm going to try and get uh, the picture a picture of it and post it on my it's not a regular allen key it's got a little head on top which fits just below the silences and hence you don't need to remove the silencers and dismantle a few things or else the process would be more than an hour but here it took me approximately 20 minutes and the sum guard was all set they're just making sure it's not wobbling it's not shaking and here's the baby with the sum guard she looks pretty now with the sum guard there i thank rohit for actually making sure i get this and the team at the delivery point to help me in installing the stuff thank you guys i hope you liked the video uh in the case there's any questions i'm going to answer any one of those on the video please leave your comments thanks for watching do like and subscribe and share the video cheers